you to fill out an application for an absentee ballot. Well, that's not enough hands. you got to do it. you got the applications here today. Do it for yourself. Do it for your friends. Do it for your neighbors. Do it for the folks you go to work with. Help people vote. We need to bank those votes, don't we? Yeah. you got to win this one. John Kasich, son of Wes Reville. He loves this city. He loves our state. He loves his country. That's why he's waking up every morning and doing what's in the interest of the people of Ohio. Folks, wouldn't it be great if we had someone in Washington, D.C. who knew how to balance budgets, not by raising taxes, but actually by cutting taxes to great jobs and opportunities? That's what John Kasich has done right here in Ohio. He's worked with Dan Gonzalez, who's here today, and Republicans in the state legislature to do exactly what we ought to be doing in Washington, D.C. But you know what? As John just told you, he can't do it alone. He needs a partner in Washington, D.C. And folks, help is on the way. <laughs> and Henry from Washington has to stop. It's the regulations, as you said. It's the taxes. It's a whole different approach to government. We're not going to get this economy moving again by growing the size and scope of government. By the way, you know what Barack Obama says on the campaign trail? He says, you ought to re-elect me because my economic policies have worked. <laughs> Okay, he jammed that trillion dollar stimulus through Congress, okay? And he promised, if you do this, what's gonna happen is we'll have unemployment 50% lower than it is today. Has it worked? No, oh, it hasn't worked. Now let me ask you this. He said, okay, on health care, I'm gonna jam this health care, Obamacare through Congress, and if I do that, it's gonna lower the cost of your health care, folks. In fact, he said it would lower the cost by 2,500 bucks per family in America. Folks, we just learned it's increased cost by $2,500 for Americans. Is it working? No! It's not working. When he got elected, he said, you know what, I'm going to cut the deficit in half. We just learned we have another trillion dollar deficit. We've never had a trillion dollar deficit until Barack Obama. And the debt has increased by 50%. Is it working? No! It's not working, and it's worse than that. Poverty rates are high. Number of people on food stamps has gone up by 50%. Take home pay has gone down 4,300 bucks for working families here in Ohio. Is it working? No! Unfortunately, what he's proposing for the next four years is nothing new. So this notion that somehow it's going to get better under Barack Obama, how can he get better if you're doing the same thing? Yeah. Now wait, he is doing something different. He wants to cut defense so deeply that it actually, among other things, puts at risk 200 jobs at a Rickenbacker with our good Air National Guard members. He wants to cut defense. Does that make sense? No! Second, he does want to raise taxes more. He's already raised them more than 18 times, by the way. Now he wants to raise them more on you and on us, on everybody, because it's going to hurt the economy. In fact, we're told that if he gets what he wants, 700,000 Americans will lose their jobs. If Mitt Romney gets what he wants, which is tax reform, 7 million Americans will get a job. Who do you think makes more sense, Mitt Romney or Barack Obama? Romney, you're right. Folks, do you agree with me? We can't afford, we cannot afford another four years of this. Do you agree with me? Well, someone else agrees with us on that too. And he's here today. And what an honor to have him. Jack Nicholas is also a native son.